the thing that people have to remember is that these fish, even once you hook them, that's when, that's when everything begins. Here's one right here, here's one right here. Oh my God, look at this thing, he's huge. Okay, you gotta get in the water now. There you go, good. Look at the size of her. God, look at that. Okay, strip it once, strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it, leave it, leave it, leave it, Take, set, set hard, baby. Give it to her. There are places in this world that rarely ever see people. Remote places. Places where life shifts into a different gear. Memories are made and stories are told. I'm Scott Sullivan. I've spent most of my life searching out these places and chronicling my journey. My good friend Cheyenne Peterson and I have built two of the baddest overland rigs solely to search out these hard to find places. Join us as we push these rigs to their limits, creating our own story, experiencing life, hunting, and fishing the Overland way. Welcome to the Overland Chronicle. We're trading in our compass as we blaze 2,225 miles across our America. Hitting the road from Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, slicing through the heart of the country all the way to the sun-kissed sky, San Diego, California. As I swap the tarmac for the high seas of the Pacific Ocean, casting flies to hook the Formula One car of sharks, it's a journey that blurs the lines between overlanding and fly fishing. As the road ends, it's time. We meet up with Conway Bowman, the Mako shark fly fishing legend to set the stage for a fly fishing encounter like no other. Scott, you finally made it out here. How was the drive? It was good, long. From where? North Carolina. Oh my gosh. Yes sir, it's quite a drive. Yeah, I'm sure it was. I run a fly fishing guide service that specializes in fly casting or sight fishing to giant Mako sharks off San Diego. And we fish out of very small bay boats but the experience is probably one of the most dynamic in saltwater fly fishing. What's the biggest right. fish you ever caught on a fly? Oh man, I don't know, probably three or four pounds bass and trout. <laughs> Do you realize how big these mako sharks are? I got an idea. Anywhere from 300 pounds up to 1,000 pounds. I mean, we might see a 1,000 pound mako shark. It's an hour eight. You ready for that? I don't think so. I, I, don't, I don't know if I am or not. That seems like a gnarly fight, but I'm here for it. This is the Mount Everest of fly fishing, and you're, if you hook a big one, you're gonna be in it for the long haul, so just get ready for that. This is not river runs through at fly fishing. This is totally extreme. Well, I got some eggs. Should we cook some and head out and go fishing? Uh, yeah, I'll take some eggs. You're gonna need them too, because you're gonna need all the protein you can get. Right on, let's get to cooking. some fresh bluefin tuna here, which is like filet mignon for mako sharks. This is picked up every morning from the fish processor, and that's what they want. It's, it's sort of like you're matching the hatch. It's actually, some of that is probably sashimi grade, like right there, you could probably eat that. That's a shot. Throw this baby over like that. Do a little bit of this, kind of get it going. And there we are, we're fishing. I'm going to move the boat about a quarter of a mile. I'm just gonna power chum in, then I'm gonna cut the motor. We're just gonna drift and wait it out. So what we're doing is we're chumming over an edge. There's a big edge here, and then we go into shallow water, and those makos kind of swim along this edge. So they're gonna smell the chum, come to the boat. I'm gonna tease them up once I see them, and then you're gonna make a cast with the fly rod. Pretty plain and simple, huh? No, no, it is. It sounds it, probably a lot easier than it looks. 
This may be our only drift, and we may only get one opportunity at one of these big, big mega sharks. And man, I'll tell you, if you see one of these suckers and they do everything that I want it to do, it'll blow your mind. <laughs> I'm excited, so, man. Yeah. I'm so, fired up. All right. Scott, here's your weapon. My sword. There it is, with a big old mako fly. Yeah, man, these uh, these hooks <clears throat> seem a little bit smaller than you'd think for a shark that big. Yeah, so they, they fit really well in the corner of their mouth. Even a big mako, they've got a little area that's kind of soft flesh. Yeah. And that'll stick right in there. Yeah, I noticed you pinched the barb, too. Yeah, because it makes it easier if I have to release them with a proper release, or if they break if they break the, 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 the mono, they can shake that out of their mouth. Okay. So we're not leaving hardware. a bunch of hardware, which will, you know, at some point, if it stays in a mako, it'll, it'll, it'll harm them. So they can shake that out of their mouth, then everybody's no, good, no yeah. So, but it's really, so we do all catch and release fishing out here, so it makes it great, it yeah, makes it perfect. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So when I met Scott, I mean, immediately, I knew he was, he was, he was a great guy, and he had some angling skills just by talking to him on the boat on the way out the first day. He's from North Carolina. Uh, he's run big boats, he's fished on mid-sized skiffs, he's caught marlin, he's caught tuna, but he had never encountered a large mako shark. I was very curious to see what his reaction would be. Look at that, look at that guy. That's a good one. He's huge. Come on, mako. So when their fin comes out of the water, that's them getting that, aggressive? Their light switch is getting turned on. Which is good for us, right? Yes. Golly, look at that thing. Fishy. Oh God, <laughs> he went down. So he's working that pattern, he's coming around like this. That mako shark was not into being aggressive. He's right here. Tried to tease it up, it circled the boat. It stayed deep, I tried to get it up on the surface. Didn't want anything to do with the fly or the teaser. But what it did, it gave Scott an opportunity to see this giant shark. That shark was about 400 pounds, and he was absolutely amazed by the size of that fish. Pretty wild. Okay, Scott, so this is our second drift. We're gonna take this drift right down this, this hard, deep edge. So I'm hoping the Makos are gonna be in this deeper water. Okay, so we're in our zone right now. So I'm gonna spin the boat around, turn the motor off, and we're going to drift. Got some birds picking right here, which is good. Here, shark, here, shark. So the mako's gonna come in, and with that teaser that I throw out, I'm gonna turn on its predatory light switch, right? Because sometimes they come in and they're kind of just sneaking around, they're not really in the mood to feed, but that teaser will get them, you know, ready, ready to attack. And you throw the fly out, he'll see the fly, he'll grab it, you set the hook, and then from that point, the shark will run out, jump, and they'll jump twice their body length. So if you get a, a you know, right. let's say you get a 10 foot mako, it's gonna jump 20 feet. That's sweet. It's insane. Once they get through the jumps, if we get them through the jumps, because sometimes they'll jump and roll back on the leader and you lost them, right? But if we get them through the jumps, we have a good chance of getting them, because I will chase them down in the boat. I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the craziest thing in fly fishing, for sure. Sweet. I'm fired up. And now we're, now we're waiting, waiting for the opportunity. Why are you thumping the boat? So um, sharks like kind of a like a, like like this sort of low tone like that, and they'll come to the boat. Call me. It's just, yeah, it's a, it, it's just a thing that calls them in. Yeah. And an old commercial fisherman buddy of mine taught me that years ago. Here's one right oh here. Oh my here. God, look at this thing. He's huge. Come on, baby, come on. Just give me a look, give me a look, give me a look. <laughs> this is so exciting. This fish is huge. No way I'm getting in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Not for me. That is a big shark. I just gotta get his head turned on by hitting this teaser and then we got him. Is he getting a little bit more aggressive? Yep. Yep. All right, he's coming. Oh, 
Keep your eyes on him. Had a very large Mako come into the slick, 500 pounds. Came in, came in kind of deep. I just couldn't get its head tuned up with a teaser. But it was, I mean, it was right at the boat. And right when it came in, I knew it was kind of, it wasn't really aggressive. And that's kind of been a problem. Some have not been very aggressive. And it's frustrating because if I can't tease them, and they're not fired up, you can't hook them with a fly. So hopefully the shark comes back and I can maybe change its, its disposition a little bit, but who knows? He took back off and went, and went back down to the deep, so hopefully we got our fingers crossed that he's gonna come back up and we're gonna get a chance at him with the fly. Hopefully this time when he comes back up, he'll be a little bit more fired up so that we can hook him and get some, get some action. He's back, he's back, here he is, right here. He can turn on at any second. Oh, he just dove down. He just went deep, that's kind of a weird, weird thing. The reason why I love the Mako shark so much is because it is such a dynamic game fish. It's, in my opinion, the greatest game fish in the ocean. It travels 60 miles an hour in the water. It can get up over 1,000 pounds, and it's, it's the ultimate ocean predator. So when it comes to the boat, it doesn't spook. It's right there, and it's circling around the boat, and it's trying to attack whether it's going after the boat, whether it's going after a teaser, or it's going after a fly. Great conditions today. Perfect texture on the water. Good current going about a knot. So that means we're drifting a, a, about one knot. Love it. Get ready. Throw it out there. Throw it out there. Far, as far as you can. As far as you, right here. Get it right here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, go, go. Oh God, I get. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, go, dude. Okay. Good. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't cross me. Throw it over there. Throw it out there. Good. Leave it right there. Just leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Okay, set the hook. Set the hook. Hard. I'm set. Good, all you gotta do is just hold on. He's gonna jump over there. Is he hooked? Yeah, he's hooked, dude. There he is. Yeah, good. Crank, 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 crank. Keep crank. I've got, I'm. Got he's still on, he's still on. Oh, is he off? I got slack. It's not tight. He's on, he's on. Just keep going, crank, 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 hard, hard, you swim back in the boat. Go, 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 go. We got a massive make on the Huge right here. make -up. huge make -up. Okay, just hold tight, man, buddy. We're gonna, so he hasn't jumped yet, okay? So lift the rod tip up, 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 up. And I gotta chase him down, dude, because this guy is off to the races. Okay, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. We gotta get back to that fly line as soon as we can. There you go, good, 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 just like that. He's charging the boat right now. Okay, right angle over towards me. Like this, there you go, good. Just like that, okay. He's coming right at you. Okay, go, come up, come up, come up. I spit the hook. Okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, bring it in, he might come back. That guy was so aggressive, he'll probably come right back. Bring the fly in, bring the fly in. Just get, yeah, just be, be ready to go. You think he'll come back? Don't know, man, don't know. You had him on for quite a while. I was encouraged by seeing that fish so early, but also I was pretty confident we'd see another shark. Oh, excited, man. I'm excited. I want to get after another one. That was that was tough. Yeah, it's it's definitely different trying to hook a fish that big on something so small. You know, it's it's way different trying to reel something like that in versus, you know, your conventional Tiagra or whatever it is that you might be fishing with. Luckily, it's early in the day, so we have plenty of opportunities amongst us. So that's Chase, oh. drone pilot. Oh. Hey, what's up? Okay, we just had one too, okay. Um, how, a big one? All right, okay, uh, okay, we'll, we just had, we just lost a 400 pounder, but we'll be down there right now, okay? See, they all pop up at the same time. Okay, so let's get down there. So these boys had another fish come up right after we hooked that one. 
and they all seem to start rising at the same time and coming up and feeding. So we're, we bolted up here, high speed, you know, spray everywhere. I mean, we were, we were getting soaking wet, just getting up here to, to try and get on this other fish and see if we can't hook up on another one. I'm excited, let's, uh, <laughs> let, let's try this different fly out. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier for me. We moved to another spot. Okay. And within 30 minutes, we had a, a 300 pound mako around the boat and another super hot mako shark. Here we are, here we are, here we are. Right here, right here. Good, leave it, just leave it right there, just leave it. Strip it, strip it, strip it. Okay, she's gonna go for, she, okay, get ready, to, get ready to cast right now. Cast right now. Put it right on her. Actually, leave the fly, just leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Leave it, leave it. She's gonna go for my teaser. Just throw it right now. Okay, right, good. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it. Oh, shit. Okay, set hard, dude. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, you gotta get in the water now. There you go, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, here, here we go. Okay, strip it once. Strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Take, set, set hard, baby. Okay, you gotta get in the water now. There you go, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, here, here we go. A 600 pound Mako comes to the boat and it is aggressive. It is on my teaser. This was the Mako shark that I wanted Scott to get. Look at the size of her. God, look at that. Right here, ready? Just leave it, leave the fly, you leave the fly. Just leave it. Okay, strip it once, strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Take it, set, set hard, baby. Give it to her. Keep driving the hook, drive, drive, drive. There you go, there you go, there you go. She's under the boat. Okay, come back, come back, come back, come back. Go over here, she's gonna jump over here. Walk up this way and give pressure that way. Just like that, great, 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 perfect. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for me to reel on this one. Well, you're gonna have to adapt. Now reel. There you go, good. That's when I was reeling, it was getting slack. I was trying to- Okay, well that means she's coming at you, there you go. Keep grinding, buddy. Just like that, dude. Woohoo! It was total freaking chaos. Scott was at the bow, I was at the helm. We chased this fish down. I was hoping for a jump. Keep grinding, keep grinding, there you go. There you go, good, 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 good. Woo, baby! There you go, buddy. It took some work, Hook up huh? on a Mako shark in the Pacific Ocean off San Diego. Let's go, woo! Okay, now, when she stops, that's your cue to grind, man. Yep, no doubt, this reel's getting a little sticky. All you gotta do is that. I really want her to jump, man, because she needs to burn some energy. She's right below the boat. Okay, keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding. Okay. There you go, keep going, keep going. Good, 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 keep going. She's coming up. She taking line? Mm-hmm. Okay. This goes on for about a half an hour, and he's doing great. He had to sit down because you gotta understand, these mako sharks are very, very heavy. They're strong fish, and they wear you down. And Scott was doing everything perfect. Good rod angle, keeping tension on the line, reeling, reeling, reeling. When they get below the boat like this, they could jump up into the boat. So I'm watching the angle of that line. I'm trying to keep it away from the boat. She's peeling some line off now. Jump, jump. So you need to tell me when she stops running because I can't hear the reel. Oh, she's running. Okay. Not running. Okay, good. Now she's running. Okay, good. She's up on the surface, which is actually good. Not running. Okay, good, good, good. Now you got it. Every inch counts, man, because yep. as long as we're gaining on her and keeping tension on the line, she's wearing down. There you go, now she's coming up. There you go. Dusty, dusty, oh! Ah, oh, that hurt. Hey, cut me. On your lip, but you're fine. Oh, what happened? That, the whole line just came back and whipped me in the face. That shark turns on that fly so hard that the line breaks and the line hits him in the face. I mean, what did I do wrong? Nothing, nothing. You did everything right. I don't know, man, that did not feel good. It's a big giant fish and that's just what happens. <laughs> Have you had that happen before? I don't think I've ever had that. Man, that's frustrating. It is, it is. Especially it... when she hurts you, man. <laughs> that did not feel good at all. It's like getting whipped in the face. I mean, that So that, that line came back in. Oh, oh, oh you got a big cut on your lip. All right here. If I wasn't wearing sunglasses, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be seeing anything right now. It's a tough neighborhood out here, man. 
shark eat shark world. Scott, I, I, I sense that he's pretty dejected at this point. He did everything perfectly like we went through early in the day. I think Scott understood that this is the pinnacle of fly fishing. This is the Mount Everest of fly fishing. And he got within 100 yards of the peak. Good job, man. Way to stick with that. That was that's, a, that's, tough, a, that's an intense fish, isn't it? That's the toughest it? fight that I've ever that had is, on the water. Yeah. By far, hands down. Yeah, it's great. It's, isn't it crazy you can hook something like that, tease it up and sight fish to a giant predator like that? Good job, man. Excellent job. Thank you, thank you. You got it. Scott got to experience these crazy sharks, how they chase teasers down, how they come to the boat, and actually how he saw that those sharks are actually hunting the angler and the guide. We're not hunting them, they're coming to the boat. And once they're there, it's a whole nother experience in fly fishing. Fly fishing for Makos opened up the door to a whole new world of fishing for me. Now that I've started, I can't stop. Fishing for bass and trout is now in my rear view for the time being. I'm determined to catch all the big game fish possible. Yeah.